Now, it's a year, believe it or not, since the Olympic Games here in London, and there is still a focus on legacy. Politicians desperate to use the momentum, the enthusiasm that was generated to get more people taking part in sport. One way of doing that is the Ride London event going on this weekend, with organisers going for the world's biggest sportif ever. 70,000 people racing on two wheels, some of them, over much the same course as used during the Games. 160 kilometres, 100 miles out of, and then back into London, finishing on the Mall. I've been speaking to two of those people who took part, Fran Summers and Mark Idem. Mark started by telling us how his race had gone. The race itself, I think, was uh, just a matter of planning and uh, taking it sort of steady for a club rider. You know, you're still talking 100 miles to do a course with a fair amount of gradient and things like that. So, but it was very enjoyable. I know that both of you must have done a tremendous amount of training. But Fran, part of this today, this weekend indeed, mm. is supposed to be about Olympic legacy. It's about making sure that that momentum keeps on going. Is that why you did it, or, or, or do you think perhaps that Olympic legacy is beginning know. to die? Maybe, maybe for younger people. I think if they want to get into cycling or they're involved in triathlons like our club is, yes. But I think I think for lots of people it was charity raising money for charity. Mm -hmm. There's lots of lots of that today, and just just to cycle 100 miles. That's quite it is quite a long way. Mm -hmm. Most people don't do that. Most people would do 45, 50 miles. Most people don't have time to cycle that far. So, um, so yeah, personal challenge. Lots of money raised for charity. I hope, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, for the younger generation. Maybe they'll be inspired. A lot of politicians, and this happens not just in this country, but after the Olympics or the Commonwealth Games, wherever they are, lots of politicians saying, well, we've got this legacy, we're going to carry it forward. The Olympic legacy not getting traction for France, does that work for you, No, Mark? I think it is. And I think for cycling in particular, you, you've had the success of Team GB or Team Sky, if you like, you know, with the Bradley win of the Tour de France last year. You've got Chris Froome this year. There's a lot of new riders and, and older, middle-aged, so I'd say, riders getting into cycling, you know, having been on a bike for 20 years, looking to uh, improve their own sort of fitness, whatever, and getting into cycling as a means to do that. And I think that that really does help, you know, the Olympics coming along, you've got the same sort of circuit that we have today, you've got the pro race that's going on this afternoon. So I think all of that does build upon it. I, I think it is a, a, a legacy that we should... Uh, it's not a cheap thing to do, though. I mean, if it's legacy, legacy is all well and good as a principle. But you know, the bikes that you you rode today, Fran, especially your bike, that's <laughs> not a cheap bit of. Little embarrassed laugh. That's not a cheap bit of kit. Yes, is but it? I raced too. <laughs> if I was just a, if I wasn't doing triathlons, and I think I was just a. Uh, you know, just to go out at the weekends and have fun. No, there's no way I'd buy a bike like that. There are yeah. so many great bikes that cost a third of and your bike <laughs> and your bike <laughs> no, no, <laughs> that you, don't cost that much money. The, the bikes today, I mean, to, just to get out on your bike and to start enjoying yourself, not you don't running need to spend on the Olympic circuit around where you, you live yourself. You know, you're talking a few hundreds of pounds to get a, a bike and, of course, there's yeah, alternatives you don't, you don't. and second-hand options, whatever. So it's quite an accessible... Uh, point of entry, let's say, but it as you get done. more, but it's very um, seductive and, and it's um, like a drug almost in a sense, you know, you want to try and do better and that drives you to uh, improve the hardware in this particular case, a bike that you have, you know, the sort of wheels and the, the basics of Mark Idem and Fran Summers talking to us earlier. Very fresh, considering they just cycled more than 100 miles, 160k uh, through London. Time now for the rest of the